Hello there guys, this is Charan Morningstar on another episode of Enigma Foundation series and this is episode 4. I hope you understand all of the old episodes of this series. I made this presentation way because most people don't understand previous episodes. So yeah, let's get started. So Enigma is nothing but it is just a pattern that is repeated in marketing small scales and a big scale. You know, if you have a bullish swing in a time frame if you zoom that out and see in a bigger time frame you, you may have seen a bearish trend that bullish move is part of that bearish move in a bigger time frame so so that is exactly what it means by fractals this is how it books you can see in price you can never ever miss single move in the market after you learning this okay, so what is a fractal fractal is a never ending pattern as i said before it is repeated you know so you can you can see the same pattern that repeats in the market in the all scale you know it can be seen in one minute time frame it can be seen in five minute time frame you know it is chain like thing you know and if you if you see uh, this triangle that i have showing you 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 will have a good idea of what fractal really is okay this is how the markets uh, work this is the pattern that I have showed in the previous episodes, which is using the number sequence. It is used to create that logo. Okay. And you can see this is a bigger number. And if you zoom in, you can see in the lower time frame, the same fractal. It is in all scale, you know. So to understand this fractal, we use this number so it will be much more easier and have a good vision where is the next move may turn forth okay so this is how it works if your goal is to enter in this range and capture this move so that's that's your primary goal as a trader and this is what a market maker a business is this is the bearish curve and the bullish curve the numbers it doesn't matter what number that you are going to using because it is of a same pattern in fractal so that's it okay so these numbers is how you should be studying because you don't need charts to study the chart you just need a paper pen to draw like this eight and inside eight you can see three two three and inside five you can see uh two one two you know this is how it become much more easier to see it practice it that way and you will get a good understanding in anticipating uh, price runs and we call it an expansion protraction and a continuation so you have a bullish book created here and you're waiting for some kind of a false move you know in time you see a, a stop run or an smt divergence in the correlated prayer so so you will you will get a good signals in this area to capture this move so let's get into the next page use the market maker models and the inner circle trading some of you guys may know this because this is all over the internet now because of ICT so we have this but he didn't uh, teach it completely but that is what I'm going to do to the public and as you can see this is our bullish market maker model and as you can see we always trade inside the expansion okay so this is what an expansion is there will be an expansion okay so when you go into the market you can mark price runs and you can anticipate this and in time you can trade inside this eight and we are always trading inside this range because we are in a zero traders and we are capturing this move which is eight so we have only uh, one pattern that repeats in the market in the expansion is where you need uh, support and resistance or the PD arrays that you may have up to support the price okay to support the directional bias so here as you can see in this expansion this is an expansion and you looking for uh, some kind of a support and resistance I will come back to that I think later because uh, you may have heard of uh, fair value gaps uh, order blocks and and so much uh, so much more in this region because ICT ne literally named every single thing inside this swing. So right from this low, he named sell side liquidity and above that is your rejection block and above that is your order block and fair value gap or imbalance. And after that, it will start to, you can see the same things 
in this region okay he literally named everything and the price will reverses from any one of the region that he named already so so you think that it is very precise and this thing works but it doesn't because it must be somewhere in this region it may reverse from this rejection block it may reverse from this uh, area it may reverse from this area you never know that okay but you will have a clear vision on which direction that you are going to trade using the sequence and using this pattern okay and time you no know, using the session openings and using the high impact uh, reverse and the medium impact reverse and economic events you know so it will make a new low to this swing and that is what he teaches as a stop run you know if the price goes sell side liquidity run and makes a new low in this protraction and that's a good signal and you wait for some kind of an aggressive bias coming what i mean by aggressive bias if you studied book map on if you studied order flows on uh footprint charts you you know what i mean by aggressive bias to fill those aggressive bias they will reach liquidity because that is where the counterpart is to sell the bias that is exactly what an imbalance is okay so i will come to that part later in this series for now i am going to just show you this okay so just know what what the pattern and just learn how to capture the moves you know and it doesn't matter okay it doesn't matter what numbers that you are going to giving it to you it is always the same pattern that you can see if you see this pattern as a uh, is swing as 8 it will become 5 and it will become 8 again and if you see this as 13 this you will call it as 8 and this is 13 so 13 8 and 13 or you can you can call it like 5 Three, five, you know, it doesn't really matter because the pattern is what really matters. You know, you, if you understand the fractals, the patterns is the key, and and the pattern gives you which direction the market may go next. Okay. So this is an example of eleventh uh, of June, twenty twenty four, and this is NQ, okay, Nasdaq. So this is fractal high. and this is a fractal low okay and from here to here you don't care about what's inside it okay just mark this from this low to this high okay if this is a 15 minute time frame you can see lots of fractals that is inside it so you can see the market maker buy model here and the market maker buy model again inside this market maker buy model you can see a market maker sell model so 5 it's like 8 to 1 to an 8 it's like this so this thing repeats but but i'm not if if you are looking at if you are looking at a 1 hour time frame you can you can just see few candles that is going about so so not much data in the bigger time frame okay so you don't you don't care about the is fair value gaps you know so you don't you don't really need that that's that's completely nonsense you don't you don't need uh, the past you don't need to mark the fair value gaps from uh, this area okay that's that's bullshit okay so you are waiting for a protraction you you don't know that it is a protraction okay because you are coming from a bigger time frame maybe maybe this is a protraction of some kind of a bearish move isn't it so you may not know this is a protraction that is where the time shines okay so you need some kind of a time that supports your protraction valid okay so let's say this is uh, this is your 930 okay after 930 it has made a new high right and completed at this fractal you no know? you can see this is a sell model coming from 930 and after that it has ran a liquidity below and it has a signal that it is the price is moving towards that that high 
so why am i saying that because you you don't know that initially but but if you if you are looking at the lower time frames you can see the imbalance that is being created i'm not talking about the imbalance that is here i'm talking about the imbalance that has been created in time okay that is very important okay so so you need fair value gaps to mark in these areas and not here okay that's not true okay so that's completely false in false in information uh, given by ict it is it is rubbish okay it it does, it's never going to be uh, profitable for you in the long run okay so here we have made a new low because because this is a fractal right so this swing from this high to this low because it made a new low after 9:30 and you may you will have because uh because inside this you can see a market maker sell model and you have two sell models here like expansion retracement and what time it is look here this is london okay and after that after london it made a new high and it completed the fractal i'm sure like this after 2 am created that is what i call as a liquidity run okay so if this is making a new low i mean new high after time just 2 am this is this is a london open okay the london open is exactly at 3 am but the pre market will begin after midnight at any where so that is why the 2 am is most obvious that is exactly why we looking at this time okay so this is making a high and what are you so this is like 8 it made a 5 because it is a new high made in time are you waiting for some kind of an aggressive selling coming into the market that creates an imbalance for settlements okay and that thing will move price towards the liquidity that is below it and around it i would say i will i will come to you why that is around it and not below it i will come to that part later because there is two types of liquidity in this region it's not just sell side liquidity okay it is not just sell side liquidity that's that that's the truth try to make sense around a support and resistance okay what really a support and resistance if if a price goes to a resistance what do you need to that's liquidity so the price is reaching this low to complete complete this fractal and after that it has created an another fractal like this you know so market maker sell model here and also it made a new low right it has made made a new low and an aggressive buyers is coming and that is what you will see uh, fair value gaps in the smaller time frames like 1 minute Three minutes or five minutes, you know, and and then you can anticipate a bullish run towards this high because this is the next target because this is a bigger fractal. Inside this bearish swing, you have you have this, and after it created this low from this high to this low, you have another order inside it. The market makes sense. and the same story applies to here too so yeah this is this is how it works and this is an unstoppable thing this is very easy to track this is very very uh, very easy to track i would say okay so it's not that hard like you marking as uh, a fair value gap from few months ago that's is that's rubbish but marking a fair value gap in time for that particular moment that's valid okay i'm not saying it doesn't work but make sure that you are using the current one and not the older or pre from the previous data okay so that is that is what uh, really matters because you need to know which one works and which one doesn't okay so yeah this is it and i hope you guys understand the video um uh, thank you thank you for watching and as soon as possible i will make i'll try to make uh, more uh, videos because i have uh, 
uh, note and creating these contents. I, I would like to see people supporting me, make sure I'm delivering the content and spending uh, time uh, to you guys. Yeah, thank you.